So he had an answer, and he calls him. There was, uh, it was, uh, you know, the the example that I was uh, referring to uh, was that uh, famous Lloyd Benson Dan Quayle moment. And uh, the reason that giving the names is not helpful is that nobody remembers either of them. So <laughs> it was more important to say the Democrat said it to the Republican. And Lloyd Benson said it to Dan Quayle, but in case you're curious as to who exactly they were, that's who they were. And there's more for you to hear that I have uh, chosen, and let's go to the next, please. Look, the military says we need a smaller, leaner army. We need more special forces. We need, we don't need more M1 tanks. What we need is more UAVs. Some of the military, no, that's not some support. of the military. That was the decision of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, recommended to us and agreed to by the President. Who answered that's the a fact. There we go. That's a fact again. Everything he says is a fact. So uh, I would love to uh, ask uh, the vice president if uh, we could have a secret uh, ballot, not where uh, the uh, Joint Chiefs wants to look good to the president, uh, but an actual secret ballot uh, of the leading commanders, the leading officers of all the branches of our military on whether or not uh, we can afford the cuts that this administration wants to impose on the defense budget. Does he think that they would be good? Uh, the amount of dishonesty that came from the vice president, and I keep playing for you these examples, uh, is, is just, it's reprehensible. It's just reprehensible. I saw it, I saw it in the Sarah Palin debate. And I couldn't believe it that he would have the audacity to make these claims, and yet he did. So he, he, he and, now I, and let me ask you, let me ask you, whatever side you're on, do you believe the military is for the cuts that are proposed by this administration? The Secretary of Defense, a Democrat, Leon Panetta, has come out against the cuts.